Level 6, Grade D, using proportional reasoning. Now this type of question is mixed in in lots of different types of questions at uh, lower and higher levels in, in maths exams and maths questions because it's a very important topic about how to deal with things um, in a proportion. So we're just going to run through this example, all these two examples, and then we'll do some questions. Three books cost £12.60, how much will eight books cost? Well, the, the basic core idea behind this is working out what one thing costs, in this case, one book. So one book is going to be £12.60 divided by three. Okay, now you can get a calculator to do this, but uh, three goes into 12, four, so the £12 is split into four pounds, and the 60 will be 20 pence. So each share is worth, each book costs £4.20. Um, to find out how much eight books cost, we would do the £4.20 times 8 because one book costs £4.20 and 8 books would cost that. So let's get the calculator out and times those together to get £33.60. OK, another example. Let's just move the calculator down for now. The shop sells five pounds at six pounds seventy, and shop B sells three pounds. Which is the better value? So, to find out which is the better value, we need to work out how how much one pen costs in each shop. So, shop A, we've got six pounds seventy divided by five, and shop B, we've got four pound fifty divided by three. So, six seventy divided by five gives us £1.34. For shop B we have £4.50 divided by 3. We've done the calculator but I happen to know that's £1.50. So per pen shop A is cheaper. And when you're doing this sort of question you do actually have to state which one is, is cheaper, which one's better value. Okay, now for some, some practice questions. Um, you can work through these, pause the video, and then look how they're done afterwards. Five cans of pop cost three pound twenty. How much would seven cans cost? So five equals three pound twenty. So one equals three pound twenty divided by five. So get the calculator up. Three point two divided by five equals zero point six four. So 7 is going to be 0 0.64 times by 7, times that by 7, gives us £4.48. OK, next question. 7 sweets 56, how much is 10? So we can speed this up and just divide by 7 and times by 10. Dividing by 7 gives us what 1 is, that would be 8p times in by 10 would give us 80 pence for 10 sweets. So you can do it, you don't have to write it all out, you can just do it in two steps, divide and then times. Uh, which is better value, 12 apples or 8 apples? So we've got 12 for th £3.84 divided by 12 and then we've got 2.64 divided by 8. So 3.84 divided by 12 OK, it's 0 0.32, so 32 pence each, and 2.64 divided by 8 is 33 pence each. So 12 is better value. OK, question 4, which is cheaper, 450 grams of corn or 350 Now. It's bigger numbers, but it's the same idea. We just want to work out what one gram is. So we do two pound thirty-five divided by four hundred and fifty, and three. Sorry, let's see how much that costs. One pound eighty-two. One point eight two divided by three hundred seventy-five. So two point three five divided by four hundred and fifty gives us a horrible number. Let's just change our mode on our calculator to get rid of that number. Um, if I go into norm mode 2, that should change that to a decimal. So that's 0 0.0052 
recurring and the other one 1.82 divided by 375 would give us 0 0.00485 three recurring. Okay, which one's better? Well, if we just look at this part of the number and this part of the number, we'll see that this one's cheaper. So, this is the smaller number, so 350 grams cheaper.